Good afternoon and welcome back to our Beale Barley Trials. We've been here about three weeks since we were last year. Last time we were here, we've seen the awns coming out and we sort of said, right, okay, we can see the differences in maturity and we'll note that going forward. I thought I'd start today, I'm stood in the plot of Golden Promise, which is our earliest variety. Three, four weeks ago, you'll maybe seen a little bit of difference in maturity. Now you can really see it. We've got the, the GP just that little bit further ahead. The ears have all started to come out. Uh, quite actually, really quite happy with the sort of the grain set. We're not getting a lot of blind sights in here and they're reasonably plump grains. The weather recently has been mixed as always. We can't get away without talking about the weather. We've had some fairly significant rainfall events, but that's maybe helped alongside we've had some good daylight hours as well. So hopefully that's maximized the grain fill on these and we're seeing, hopefully we're seeing these uh, grains develop into nice plump grains. So I just thought I'd start in the Golden Promise um, because it's really you know our earliest variety. And again, we'll move on to the Laureate and Diablo and have a quick look at them, and just sort of see how they differ. I've now moved into the uh, Laureate, which is our main intake variety at Simpsons there. It's the vast majority of our barley that goes in there is between Laureate and Diablo, which is next door. And really what I'm trying to highlight is the differences between the varieties in terms of maturity, but also in terms of where you can see the yield's gonna come from. Golden Promise is inherently a lower yielding variety, probably isn't carrying as many grain sites, will be a smaller grain, but the Laureate you can see here, Obviously just that little bit greener, so obviously that little bit later, which is fine because we're not yet late at all. Um, but you can see by the length of the ear there that we've just sort of got a much bigger, more well-rounded ear there as well. So like I say, these varieties hopefully, or these barleys now, are getting some decent weather on them to get some grain fill uh, into them. What's been going on in the world since the last spoke? Well, we actually have started winter barley harvest this last week. We've got some combines rolling into winter barley. Is it significantly later than usual? Maybe it's by end up being by about five days, seven days, being very weather dictated. What are we seeing? Yields, unfortunately, are not where we'd ideally like to see them. Probably more below average than above average, I would say is probably best to say, but it's early days yet and there's still quite a lot more to cut. Nitrogen seem to be good, which is good, and that will hopefully replicate into the springs as well. Screens seem to be a little bit on the high side, but you know, that's just the nature of the weather patterns we've been having. So. What will happen now with this crop is basically we're not going to do a lot more or do anything more to it now just hopefully let the weather do its course and i would think you know you look at these and you try to make an assessment of harvest i think we're still you know a good few weeks off harvest we are at the end of july here but hopefully the weather will play play ball and finish these crops nicely <laughs> 